but there's only one woman that we're going to change for. No matter how long you've stayed, it's not enough for you to keep staying in what is not serving you. If he ain't changing, it's cause you ain't the woman. How do we handle breakups? She should have known better. Hey Omi, welcome back to my channel. How is it wasn't happening? My name is Omi Odike Mwachiko and this is Talk to Your Omi TV. You get me? Welcome to another episode of Put Your Big Girls Panties on. On this segment, we discuss matters arising here. Yeah? As ladies in here, how do we just live better? How do we handle this love matter, relationship matter, marriage matter, even you know, money matter, just life in general, man. Today's topic is how do we handle breakups? How do we do this breakup thing? You get me? Yeah. I really will have to apologize to you. I've been doing something wrong for a long time and we have to address it today. And it's going to be like a story time. Yeah. I'm going to tell you like my, I think my first major breakup, what I did. Right. And I also have to tell you why I am apologizing. I really need your forgive me. If you like gist, just get popcorn and drink. You me, can't I'm sitting down. I want to get comfortable because I have sweet gist for you. Oh yeah, let's go. So subscribe to this channel, give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, this is just where we just have like chit chat. Why did I apologize? I've noticed that I am very like I'm emotionally strong and I'm mentally strong. I'm, I'm a strong person to a large extent. I believe in you will not see me cry. If you hurt me, I just believe I can cry, which I can't when did I cry for a guy? cry nah i can't forget <laughs> i'm not going to lie i've come to realize that i might sound real strong and haha but there are ladies who are really just ladies who will cry for a guy now it's not bad to cry i just feel, I, I just really feel like maybe you should not cry in front of the guy uh -huh. so, so wait let me just take one step at a time so back to my apology i'm apologizing because i feel like i've, I've been taking this thing too seriously like why would you cry for a guy what's up with you don't you know who you are haha <laughs> and then i watched something recently oh my gosh i watched this um series it's called good friends if you know what the series you have to watch it's very it's very sweet it's very sweet but i want to tell you about one particular person character in the movie her name was simi simi loved this guy an upcoming music musician she could cut off her leg to give this guy like whatever the guy wants like this she would give him and the guy was such a douche like by douche i mean he doesn't care about anything she has to say all he cared about was okay now but you know i have an interview right now i've not gotten my shirt now i need money for shirt now okay now you know like he will call her up by 2 2 p.m to leave her office and come to see him because she will come there was even a time he called her up and when she got there she was like okay but was this why you called me because she had to not go and lie to her boss that you know she has um see this is how i am when i want to be comfortable you get me I had to lie to her boss that she has one important something something when she got there the master was so you know her friends were telling her like this guy is not really pure don't you understand like she will be broke middle of the month because she has given this guy her money but she really loved this guy and she really believed this guy's lies and when the guy says i love you baby she thought like man he really did like me or love me and of course i could see but I've come to realize that there are ladies who really do not see these things, right? And see, this went on and on and on and on until the end, man, when she finally now caught the guy with another girl. And then see, like her own heartbreak, she fell sick, like she fell sick. Like her mother had to come and carry her from her house to her mother's house, start giving her drugs, start taking care of her, just start healing her. I was just like, ah, and I asked myself, Omi, if you were to talk to somebody that is in this position here, yeah, what will you tell the person? Will you be like, no, no, your value, no, your worth? I was like, no, I won't be that way. I will obviously like come off softly. And that's why I've not said, okay, let me come and talk to anybody who is in that position softly. Yeah? The first rule I want you to know is that if it smells like a duck, if it sounds like a duck, if it acts like a duck, if everybody is saying that, that, that this thing is a duck, my darling is a duck. For real. I'll borrow the words of Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey said something. He said, I, I'm probably will play, play it here so you see the video. I tell women this all the time. All men can change and all men will change. But there's only one woman that we're going to change for. If he ain't changing, it's cause you ain't the woman. Men only change for one woman. There's only one woman that they change for. If you're with a man and he's not changing, then you are most likely not the woman for him. But you should walk away. Because if the man is not paying you attention, like things about your life, if 
you cannot have a heavy heart and talk to this man and feel well then he really isn't for you and he really doesn't care about you like that you get me like you need to let go and really i know where i got my own like emotional strength from i lost my dad at 16 and my dad was like the was like that was my first love that was the first person that I, I, I will not say i dated but that was the first person i loved i loved my dad uh, he was a companion to me like now i understand is it, it definitely was agape love there was nothing immoral there but the way i loved him and when i when he went i just was just like you know what it doesn't matter man anybody that comes to my life i know for, for when you're coming and I, I know that you can go tomorrow so i'm just like man who cares but then some people really go through pain and i i, I just want you to know that because i mean she had spent four years that girl four years in the in the relationship and she, you know it, it might look like how can i let go of two years of three years of seven years and the guy is a douche let me tell you something the more you stay there the longer the the time the longer time you're spending with the guy and the longer the three years you could be saying before i can let go of two years then it turns to three years oh my gosh three years then it turns to four years oh my god four years no from the moment you just realize that this person is not really bettering me my life and my last um, episode of put your bigger parties on i told you what love really is and you have to watch that video so you can understand what love really is and how you how you should place yourself because it has to be a balance we're supposed to be help me tabi but he's supposed to love us you know you know because you know me i'm a child of god yeah and i feel like the purest love has to be the love of god let's talk about love there are three types of love there's eros there's philia and there's agape eros is our romantic love philia is parent and children love agape is god love is i feel like it's only god that can make you understand love what because it's like god is love a lot of time but just here in beneficial contract calling it love it's not love it's just you, you you're just benefiting from the thing or he's benefiting from the thing and you're risking your whole heart to it my darling like no no matter how long you've stayed it's not enough for you to keep staying in what is not serving you you need to learn to walk away let me give you my own story i remember that so much because when i got into university there was this guy i really i really liked i really really liked him he excites me like then as in just thinking about him used to excite me i used to go and visit him in ngo hear me i was a virgin so we never you know had sex but like you know we could kiss and all but we never had sex you get me and he was just ah and then one time i found out that he was cheating i, I smartly asked somebody 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 he was cheating you get me i'm certain because when i saw the, i saw i saw somebody's picture and i began to ask i began to ask questions and i'm certain she was probably sleeping with him yeah and so when when i i got back to school the guy calls me from nowhere and begins to just give one kind of nonsense random reason and i really did like i mean i used to, I used to travel from oka to Enugu to go and see this guy he gave me one kind of stupid reason as to why we needed us to break up. Oh, ah, it wasn't uh, whatever it was. Like it was, it was, it was my problem. When I come to his house, I don't clean his house. I don't take care of him. I don't really cook food like that. Just nonsense talk. But I've been dating you since. You don't know. And the funny thing was, I was in my room. We're all just we're laughing, and I got a call, and I took the phone out to, to receive the call. And the moment said, "Okay, I want to break up," but I said, "Okay, no problem." And I ended the call, and I went back to my room, and I was just in like nothing happened. There must have been an issue with me then. And then I told my friend, I just broke up with my boyfriend. We we're like, ah. And you're talking like this. I'm like, yeah, what do you want me to do? But that was my own first like major heartbreak. Even me till now, it's, it's, um, it amazes me like for real that like you, that's how you really. And he called me back or oh, maybe, maybe like five, six months or seven months or something. He began to blame me again. Oh, um, can you imagine? I, I broke up with you. He said, to apologize. I told you what you're not doing right. I'm, I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, apologize for words because i feel like if a guy calls me and says i want to break up with you he must have thought it through that okay it's time to let go of this lady so if he has thought it through why then will i want to apologize to him i don't understand and so one thing i also do that helps me a lot in, when i break up with somebody is that i just delete everything that has to do with the person because you see how i say oh um, they should not see me cry i believe it so strongly and sometimes I, I i'll feel the urge to call the person i'll miss the person obviously and i want to pick up my phone to call the person what i would do is that i would take his number off my phone so that when i want to when i when i'm missing him and but the moment i break up with the guy i'm going to delete everything i'm that kind of person you know? and i think it works for me and i think you should try it too you get me like i would delete from the last t all the messages that we have ever sent to me is gone whatsapp everything every trace of you like this is gone so that when i begin to miss you i want to be a mumu 
when I go on my phone, there's no evidence of the person. You know, I will hurt, but like, I believe that, you know, it's, it's better to be single and be happy than to be in a relationship and be sad and be abused. You get me? Like, and be trodden upon. That's the word that comes to me. Like, they're stepping on you. Why are you there? You're a human being. You're, you're valuable. You can't sell yourself off to this guy just because you, you, you yeah. and sometimes you, ladies, some ladies really want to get married to the guy that they just begin to act like they can't see what the guy is doing. You should be able to see what he's doing. And let me tell you, for any, for any lady who really, 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 really wants to get married and, and you begin to close your eyes to this thing, maybe you don't understand what marriage really is. Marriage is two people coming together to live their lives forever together two people coming together to live their lives forever together forever together forever do you know what that means uh, see being single it might look like it's about me that i'm here let me tell you it means that you're with him two for seven if you can't talk to the man you're dating and tell him like this this thing you do pains me and he can't listen to you and he, he cannot change like after you tell him you don't now see any deliberate effort of him changing my darling it's going to be worse when you get married because right now like what else is he already married to you Did you get you've already had a child for him if you're doing something before he's going to increase it later and that's why i borrowed steve harvey's advice every man changed for one woman every man can change and will change for one woman so before you enter there are you the woman you have to be the woman if you aren't the woman, if you're dead, he might go and find the woman outside. Are you that one woman? And every woman should look for that one man that's willing to change for you. There are some things that you should just check before you enter into it. And break up is not the end of the world. It's better to break up with the wrong person so that the right person will come. Because I mean, see, if the right person comes to you, yeah, and you're stuck with the wrong person, you will lose a good guy. See, in that series, you have to watch it's very interesting. Good friend is on Udwa Isong's um, page. Her colleague was like he was you could tell this colleague like that she would borrow money from a loan company to give her to give this boyfriend and not pay her back and the boy blew and left her can you imagine but she'll borrow money loan companies are calling her embarrassing her calling her mother calling clinical Kiniko, Kiniko. this colleague went to go and hustle four hundred thousand naira to give her the person that 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 wants the best for you might not look like might not necessarily look like what you're looking for let me tell you before i got married i used to like chubby guys i like chubby guys i, I chubby chubby tall haha <laughs> But by the time I grew, I realized that it's good to like chubby guys. What, what do I like about chubby guys? They will hold me to be chill, you know, they'll stand. Oh my God, when we lie out together, it'll be so sweet. I can rest on his shoulder. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. When he wears his dress, he will look chubby and sweet. Ah, eh. But those things, can they be compared to my happiness, you know, caring for me, wanting me to grow in life, wanting the best for me, being patient? listening to me can they be compared they can't really be compared now she gets so the person that really really wants you wants the best for you might not be like the your ideal person but what is important what should be important to you should be how who, who am i with this person who is this person is this person for me if it's not for you let go don't worry you'll find another person is a man and a woman thing you must find another person have faith trust god your life has not ended you just broke up with somebody that wasn't good for you in the first place he wasn't good for you in the first place don't act like your life is over oh my god i spent five years of my life see i, it's, I understand but maybe if you had broken up earlier it wouldn't have been five years it could have been two years or one year or three months imagine if three months into it you have an argument and the guy turns into a beast like literally and then he come and said oh i'm so sorry three months into a week and then five years you've gone through issues and you're still thinking that five years no no if you look at that guy and her colleague maybe her colleague was not was not as well maybe beef but what was beef what's beef who's the beef guy somebody who, who cannot dress you can teach him how to dress you will help them you will build them up so uh, uh, the way you're chewing hey this is your way you're chewing is funny you're chewing better now uh -uh. You know, that ways to say it. But don't just keep looking for this finest, cutest guy, even though he's douche. Is he douche? No. I just really want to just come and have like a chilled conversation with you and just tell you like, you know, no, man. Don't put yourself through like painful like situations. And don't die. It's just a breakup. And another person will come, I promise you. Yeah? You're a prize. For real, I'm not joking. No. You are the prize. And you're also going to get another prize too. 
So two prizes, <laughs> who can compare? You people will not be giving birth to trophies. Your children will be trophies. I'm, I'm, I'm for real. My girls, you get me? Let's put ourselves together. Put your biggest panties on. You have cried enough. You have been in that thing enough. You have been there because of fear enough. My darling, yeah, yeah, wear your big girl, big girl panties on. Wear it now. Eh, eh, don't worry. Another person will come. The same way this one came, the same one, that person will come. Don't let anybody lie to you. Who uh, marry you? Who build? Hey, my darling, relax. Follow my series. You'll be happy you did. That's all for today, my love. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and, and also talk to me in the comment section for real. I, I, I just, to this particular segment, I'm not going to be discouraged. Oh, oh me. I'm going to keep doing it until we touch ladies around the world. So that we can all be better and carry ourselves well. We carry ourselves well. We'll find the guys that carry ourselves well. Comport your wiggy. What the? Get me. Yeah, I love you. Thank you for watching my video. Bye. Bye bye.